Will the world act to check China? Is the world on a virtual Tinder box? Remember, there's one conflict already between Russia and Ukraine. Is this developing into another conflict or a potential conflict between Taiwan and China? Given the aggression, the aggression even today, there were a series uh, of ADIZ violations by China and Taiwan. Mark every one of them. I want to quickly cut across to India today's Shiv Arur joining me for more on the story. Also with me is Sana Hashmi. She's a postdoctoral research fellow here in Taiwan. Also with me is Ambassador Ashok Sajanar. Uh, three of the finest voices on, on matters, military and diplomacy. But first, Shiv, to you. The gorilla in the room has been firing missiles over Taiwan. Very strong words from a serving three-star American general, Vice Admiral Carl Thomas says, this cannot become the new norm. What, what does this mean? What does this imply? Gaurav, this is as far as it can go. This is probably the biggest U.S. military comment that can come out at a time like this against China. Now remember, Chinese belligerence has been going on. Uh, you know, for many days now, since early this month when uh, Nancy Pelosi was in Taiwan, those missile, uh, you know, strikes that have been taking place around the island of Taiwan have been going on unchecked. And now the commander of the U.S. 7th Fleet, headquartered in Japan, responsible, you know, for the Western Pacific, and very much the commander who will lead any kind of response to Chinese belligerence if an actual shot is fired, he has said that what China is doing with these missiles is the gorilla in the room, and if it is not contested, it will become the norm. It's a huge warning for someone who actually will be pulling many triggers, literally and figuratively, if China escalates things any further over Taiwan, saying that something needs to happen now is huge. But beyond that, beyond the actual warning, beyond the actual comment that Admiral Carl Thomas has made, Gaurav, is the big question over whether what that contesting will actually be. Will the U.S. do something now to deter China from firing those missiles? Because it is pretty clear, and you're in Taipei and you're seeing it as well, that even over the weekend, China has decided to renew those missile drills, and they're going to continue through this week and probably this month as well. So where does that stop? It's one thing to, to say words, and it's big that Admiral Thomas is saying them, but what yes. will the U.S. Navy or the U.S. military actually do to follow the words of their 7th Fleet commander is that big question right now. Oh, absolutely. And before I bring in Sana Hashmi and uh, Ambassador Ashok Sajanhar, I want to play out this report from Taipei. Once again, a series of violations of air defense identification zone of Taiwan by Chinese jets. Uh, 20 aircraft in one instance, and uh, of these, 18 were fighters. So you had uh, Su-30 and those are huge uh, air dominance fighters. You had uh, the Shanghai J-17s, the J-16s, the J-11s. They are coming in. The Y-8 uh, uh, electronic intelligence uh, aircraft are coming in. You've also had the surveillance aircraft that are coming in and Chinese warships. They violate the air defense identification zone. This is uh, that, that median, the line uh, between mainland China and Taiwan, the, the island. And that's violated. Taiwan's launched its own aircraft. The moment Taiwan launches its aircraft, the Chinese aircraft go back. I bring you this report. A belligerent China reacting to the visit of U.S. lawmakers to Taiwan. Chinese fighters and warships were back conducting menacing drills as Taipei welcomed more American politicians to the island. This time a team led by Democratic Senator Ed Markey. While it showed aggression in the skies around Taiwan and at sea, Beijing went on a diplomatic offensive as well, sanctioning seven top Taiwanese politicians and officials, including Taipei's representative to Washington, Li Qinxiao. China,中方再次敦促美方, 歪曲一个中国原则的错误道路上越走越远，以免对中美关系和台海和平稳定造成进一步损害。China sees the visit by the U.S. politicians and Taiwan's warm welcome to them as a rejection of its one-China policy. 
the military exercises around Taiwan are Beijing's way of saying it will defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity come what may. Hours after the island's president met the U.S. delegation, 30 Chinese aircraft and five naval vessels conducted military activity around Taiwan and at least 15 Chinese fighters crossed the median line in the Taiwan Strait on which there is a tacit understanding that no crossings should happen. China has intensified its show of military power ever since US Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan in the first week of August. A disgruntled China then launched an unprecedented live-fire military drill routine in six areas that practically encircle Taiwan. China is constantly increasing the pressure and setting a new normal. The apprehension is this could actually lead to a conflict in the times ahead. And that is why Taiwan is taking all care, all care to ensure that it protects its seas and its territory. Gaurav Savant in Taipei, Taiwan for India Today.